Hi, I'm Carl Sandstrom. I'm the product manager for Evernote Outboards at BRP. You know, recently, the staff at Bodie Magazine examined the myth that today's four-stroke outboards get better fuel efficiency than two-stroke outboards. Well, after examining the data, the staff over at Bodie Magazine concluded that when it comes to fuel efficiency, the differences were just too close to call between today's two-stroke and four-stroke outboard engines. So what are the facts? How can today's direct-injected Marden Advanced Technology engines compete with the best four-strokes on the market today in terms of fuel efficiency and actually beat them in head-to-head -head competitions? Well, we're about to find out. Let's take a look. The popular myth that four-stroke outboard engines get better fuel economy than two-stroke outboard engines is largely based on the perception that this 5.5 horsepower 1960 Evinrude is indicative of what a two-stroke outboard engine is, and this 50 horsepower Johnson, another carbureted two-stroke. Well, these are the motors that the industry was built on. They were available for many, many, many years. But today, they've been replaced by direct injected two-stroke engines with advanced technology such as the Evermore D-Tech. And when you take a look at what direct injection does for a two-stroke outboard, one of the things it does do is dramatically increase the fuel efficiency of an outboard so that it can compete head-to-head -head with any four-stroke on the market today. Now let's take a look at the Evermood E-Tech 150 horsepower direct injected two-stroke engine. This is a perfect example of what direct injected two-stroke technology looks like today. This engine is extremely fuel efficient, quiet, is the most compact, lightest weight, highest performing engine in its class, bar none. Let's take a look into what technology helps it achieve that kind of performance. The problem with those older carbureted two-stroke outboard engines is that they used a carburetor to introduce the air and fuel into the engine and ultimately into the combustion chamber. In doing so, some unburned fuel was allowed to escape out of the exhaust port. That resulted in higher emissions and poor fuel economy. In contrast to that, the advanced technology direct injection two-stroke features a system that injects the fuel directly into the combustion chamber. This E-Tech injector injects fuel straight into the combustion chamber rather than in the front of the engine. And what it does is it puts the fuel into the cylinder after the exhaust port is closed, acting very much like a four-stroke to make this a closed environment and not allowing any fuel to escape out of the exhaust. That results, again, in extremely good fuel efficiency and very low emissions. This engine not only is the best performing engine in its class, but it also is rated at a carb three-star engine and features some of the lowest emissions in the industry today. Another advanced technology feature that the old carbureted two-stroke engine simply didn't have was an onboard computer. This is the onboard computer for this direct-injected two-stroke Evinrude E-Tech. We call it an EMM. It's an engine management module. It's capable of making over 8 million calculations a second. And it controls everything from ignition timing, spark duration, fuel injection, fuel injection duration, angle, all those things that the engine needs to maximize its power output, optimize its fuel efficiency, and minimize the emissions of the engine. Earlier, I mentioned that this Evinrude direct injected two-stroke 150 horsepower engine was the most compact and lightweight engine in its class. There's good reason for that. If you were to look at a comparable 150 horsepower four-stroke, you see that the cylinder head design incorporates all the components that are required for a four-stroke. Things like valves, camshafts, lifters, timing chains or timing belts, all add weight and complexity to a four-stroke engine. It's simply not present in a direct injected two-stroke. That means a more compact, lighter weight design that can result in 10 to 20 percent less weight for an outboard motor. And that can translate on a V6 to as much as 50 to even 100 pounds of additional weight for a four-stroke. A 100-pound advantage with a direct-injected two-stroke can translate into better fuel efficiency on the water for the consumer. All of the Evinrude E-Tech outboard engines feature direct injection with stratified combustion. Stratified combustion allows the engine to operate extremely efficiently by only using a small portion of the cylinder's potential at slower speeds. In stratified combustion, because we're only using a small portion of the cylinder, it's kind of like having an empty room with an aerosol can that you're spraying the aerosol out and you ignite the flame at the end of it and you have a small combustion event going on in the room. The rest of the room's unaffected. 
But as more power is needed, you transfer over to homogeneous combustion, that's akin to filling an entire room with, say, an open valve from an LP tank. Now have a combustion event, and the whole room would be involved in the combustion event. Well, that's what happens when the motor transitions from stratified to homogeneous. That's when the engine needs to make all of its power, and it's able to produce the full potential of what the engine's capable of in terms of power, torque, and fuel efficiency and emissions. So as we can see, the myth that four-stroke outboards get better fuel efficiency than two-stroke outboards is simply that, a myth. Today's modern, advanced technology, direct-injected two-strokes like the Everwood E-Tech are vastly 